Today I'm going to be testing out the Uni Coda Pizza Oven, which I have kindly been sent to try out, and let's just say I'm just a tinsy, tinsy bit excited. Um, if you want to check out the price of the Uni Coda Pizza Oven wherever you are in the world, then I will link below so you can look it up for yourself. But yeah, I've never had a pizza oven before, and I have been waiting all day to do this, so let's get unboxing it, and then I can make pizza, and I can eat pizza. Right, so here is the box. It's quite a big box. It's kind of heavy not the most heavy but it's pretty it's pretty solid um so on here it says it is gas powered easy ignition and control ready to cook in 15 minutes which is awesome and stone baked pizzas in in 60 seconds that is crazy so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open it and we can see everything that's inside it Okay, so here is everything that came in the box. So we've got our instruction manual and essentials guide. We've got this, which I'm not sure what that is, but a little metal thing. We've got our pizza stone, which is wrapped really, really well, because obviously it's very delicate. It's not really heavy, it just feels like a tile, um, but it is quite delicate. So I guess that's why you get given it in this thing that says, please open with care. But yeah, this will just slot into there. Um, and then we'll be putting the pizza on it. And then we've got the main attraction, the pizza oven. So as it said on the box, you need gas. So this is where you would attach your gas canister. Um, and then this is the pizza oven. So it's not really, really big, but it's quite deep in um, size. So it goes back quite a long way, but it's not, it's not super, super heavy. And what's really cool about it is that it's got legs on the bottom. I noticed these when I turned it over. So they literally just fold out. And like for us, we were thinking about where we're gonna put it when we use it. And it's probably gonna go on the floor in the garden. So this is nice because it keeps it literally off the ground. Um, but yeah, it's got a nice sort of depth to it. Like you put the pizza in all the way to the back and then I guess the heat comes from the back. I haven't used a pizza oven before, so I'm not entirely sure. But from what I can see, it looks fairly straightforward to use. Like. There's very few things that come with it. I said that the only other thing that we'll need is a pizza, but we'll actually also need a couple of things. And these don't come with the pizza oven. You have to buy these separately. But I've got this pizza cutter wheel, which obviously you don't need to have this particular one, but you need some sort of pizza cutter because we're having pizza and we want it proper. So I've got a pizza cutter. And then this is the most important thing. This is a pizza peel. So this is how you're gonna get your pizza in and out of the pizza oven. Um, so I'll just show you what it looks like. So yeah, this is what this looks like. So we'll be placing our pizza onto this and then transferring it into the pizza oven like this when the pizza stone is obviously in there. And then you can sort of edge it out so that it's just easy to do it. I think this is kind of an essential thing. So although it doesn't actually come with the pizza oven, um, I probably recommend having one of these, although we will see how worth it is when I try it all out. Right, so that's everything you get in the box and also a couple of extra things that might be useful, but I think what we should do now is we need to test this thing out. So firstly, let's get on with making our pizza. So the flour that I've used for my dough is this one, it's called Caputo. Um, it's a gluten-free flour because I'm gluten-free. Um, and this was actually recommended by Uni on their website. They've got a, a recipe for making gluten-free pizza. So I thought I'd buy this flour and check it out and hopefully it'll be really good. So I've got my um, dough. I've already done it. It's proving in a hot place, which is my oven on a really low temperature. So I'm going to get that out now and then I'm going to be shaping my pizza dough into a pizza shape and then we will be putting it into the pizza oven. I'm actually going to be shaping my pizza dough straight onto the pizza peel so that then I don't really have to move it again and I can just sort of edge it off into the pizza oven. So I'm going to lightly flour this and then sort my dough out.
Right, so it's time to launch this pizza. Let's give it a go. Okay, so here is my pizza. It looks amazing, it smells amazing, and I'm pretty, pretty happy with it, I must say. One thing, I just think I'm a bit rubbish at it. This is my first time using a pizza oven, and although I made sure that I got it right to the edge of the, the pizza peel so that it would just sort of ease off, it was when I had to then turn it after about, I think they say about 20 to 25 seconds, you should keep sort of turning the pizza so that the back bit doesn't get like super hot and then burnt. Um, but I was, I think it's just, I'm that sort of person. I panicked a bit and I was like, oh no. And then I tried to do it and I couldn't move it. So then you got a little bit of this burnt. But another thing they said is that with the type of flour I'm using, which is like a gluten-free flour, it can get a bit burnt. Um, but what you have to do is just dust it off, which is why I've got little black fingers. <laughs> so yeah, I'm super, super happy with it. I just can't wait to eat it. But it w overall, in terms of just using the uni pizza oven, it was really simple. It heated up very quickly. We used like an infrared temperature thermometer thing, which I definitely recommend. It doesn't come with it, but we bought our own separately. And that was really, really helpful because otherwise, how on earth are you going to know how hot the oven is? It doesn't have like some sort of um, thing on it to show you how hot it is, you'd be guessing. So that was really, really useful. But yeah, the pizza looks great and it's got a lovely crust on it, which um, before I put it in the oven, this wasn't all puffed up. So it's nicely puffed up and it's just really good. And I'm sure that next time I make one, I'll make it even better because you know what it's like when it's the first one. I mean, I probably shouldn't have filmed the first one, but I wanted to give everyone an honest review of this. Um, so yeah, onwards and upwards for me. I'm gonna be a, a pizza, uh, a pizza chef. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I think this pizza is probably one of the best pizzas I've ever had. It's probably better than most restaurant pizza I've ever had. It's so smoky from just using the pizza oven at stupidly high temperature. And yeah, I mean, oh, it's so good. Mm. I'm actually thinking because this gets up to such a high temperature that you could actually do something like naan breads in it. So I think that's what I'll try next. Um, but yeah. If you want to watch me actually making naan breads, not in the pizza oven, but inside, then click up here. And if I do make any other recipes using the pizza oven, then I'll pop the video up here. But until next time, I'll see you soon.